relax, bro, the Supreme Court isn't banning abortion. They just want to let the states decide. Uh, that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, states' rights? Where have I heard that one before? <laughs> Sounds like the Supreme Court is more concerned with late-term abortions than the Democrats. Define late-term abortions. Women are getting abortions like right before they give birth. Look it up. So their water breaks and they just decide to abort the baby? Yeah, bro, it's happening all over the country. Uh, Late-term abortions is a made-up term. Wait, what? Yeah, it's a made-up term for an abortion that happens in the second trimester. Listen, I believe in personal liberty, but the fact is that life begins at conception. I'm looking at the actual statistics, and less than 1% of women have abortions after the 21st week, and that number drops even further for every week that goes by. <laughs> what about all these women just deciding they don't want to be pregnant anymore? And these cases often involve medical reasons, such as the woman might die, or they find out the child is hydrocephalic. So millions of babies aren't being murdered right out of the womb? Yes, yeah, so there is no data to back up whether that even happens. Millions of babies are being murdered right out of the womb. Where is it documented? Oh. Oh. Right here. Christian Science Daily. This is just an op-ed piece. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, all statistics show that 90% of abortions occur in the first 13 weeks. But did you know that Planned Parenthood was started by Margaret Sanger? The Margaret Sanger argument is a bad faith argument against Planned Parenthood. Are you saying that Margaret Sanger doesn't matter? She founded Planned Parenthood. Yeah, it's a logical fallacy or a genetic fallacy. You can't just cancel companies because of their founders. The question is, what are they doing today? All right, Planned Parenthood helps women access medical services. Yeah, like abortions and dozens of other medical services that they might have a hard time getting. You can't just invalidate it because of the personal motives of some 100-year-old bigot. <laughs> Okay, fine. I don't want women having sex if they're not married to me. Oh my God, thank you for just being honest. Ooh, it actually feels good just to say that out loud. I get really insecure. You know, when you meet a woman and her body count is above zero, it's like, Ugh, what are you doing? It's her fault and she should learn how to make better decisions. <laughs> Ooh.